Hello everybody, I thought I would do a video to preview my new denoising filter in uh, Gmix GIMP plugin. It takes full advantage of the cha changes that David made to the uh, base denoise filter. Uh, he added a, the ability to use a guide image, so that is exactly what we are doing in my filter. Um, you can see at the moment we have an internal guide. Um, it is possible to use an, an external guide uh, by selecting two layers uh, as input. And so the lower layer will be the guide and that allows you to do some pre-processing to improve the noise reduction. Uh, we're only using an internal guide at the moment, but whether you're using an internal guide or an external guide, all of these top controls affect the guide image. Um, I'm just going to dial in uh, some noise reduction so we can see, or maybe not that much, we can see the effect that uh, these controls have the gamma shadows and light effect uh, where the noise reduction is targeted. So if we just move this around, we can see we've got some highlights, we've got some shadows. Use the gamma control to give us an overall target uh, towards the shadows where it tend to be a wee bit noisier and away from the, the highlights but we also have the shadows and light controls which allow us to do additional uh, tuning so if we turn up the shadows we can see that the dark areas get a lot more noise reduction tune that in that'll do for the purposes of this demonstration and I know on this image that I got a hair on the image there which uh, it's only a test image so that's handy but we can see the effect of increasing the amount of noise reduction in the light areas the hair disappears and if we lower the amount of noise reduction it reappears and also the noise so we can tune that in to get noise reduction but without losing that little hair there uh, the the chroma uh, control works differently than uh, normal noise reduction what it does is it desaturates the guide image so with the chroma of one uh, the guide image is uh, only luminosity inf information which means that there's more chroma noise reduction going on although uh, it's important to know that i've decided to stick to noise reduction in the red green blue space rather than separating it into luminosity and chromanosity uh, because I think that gives better color details. The downside is you still get a little bit of chroma noise creeping in that you wouldn't uh, if you had to split those channels and had an independent chroma noise control. But the advantage is that the these fine uh, details that you get uh, are not smeared as much. So there's a, there's, a, there's a little thread there that is still coming through. It's a little bit smudged there because we haven't actually tuned the noise reduction. But if, if we had separate, separate Luma and uh, Chroma uh, noise reduction, uh, you'd see a lot of these fine color details disappear. Um, now's an appropriate time to talk about how we can and tune the, the noise reduction in terms of uh, details. So we've got these three controls here, fine, mid and large which allow us to target the, um, the type of noise we want to remove. If we come down here, uh, this allows us to preview the different types of uh, noise. So there's, there's the fine noise. You can see that, that small details uh, and noise being removed. At the mid level, you can see that's larger blobs. And at the large level, it's gigantic blobs. Um, so that's the noise that's being re removed with the settings that we've got at the moment. So if we just look at the fine noise, uh, if we reduce the fine noise reduction, we can tune that. So what we're looking for is to make sure that we're, no details get passed through into the noise. If we come over here, we, there's uh, some text there. And so if I turn up the fine details, you can see that text actually comes through. So that's being removed. Uh, in the noise reduction, so we reduce the amount of fine noise reduction, we can st stop those details from coming through uh, and being removed. So if we go to the mid-level of noise reduction, we can see it while well, actually we're pretty much tuned in there. So once again, if we turn it up too far, we can see that there's details coming through. We don't want that, so let's drop that down. 
and there we go. So these flat gray areas mean there's no uh, noise being removed. And the, likewise with the large, large is a little bit harder to tune, but what I like to do is find some definitely flat areas and make sure that those areas have noise reduction. If so you can see here, it's a little bit spotty. Um, so that we want to make sure that the flat areas are definitely getting noise reduction there. So we can preview uh, at those different levels. We can also preview all of the levels at once. So that's the total noise that is being removed, which doesn't look, looks like we're not getting too many details through. But uh, for the next thing I want to point out is that we have the ability to recover details. So I can actually push the noise reduction a little bit further than I possibly normally would. And you can see some of these fabric details coming through. Perhaps you can see some of the knitted pattern on those gloves coming through there. So if we go back to the main image, you should be, yes, that's quite smooth. You can see those details disappearing. So if we turn on recover details, and we raise the slider, let's go, one's not a bad setting to start off with. You can see that all of those details uh, return. So if we turn off recover details, that's smooth, and there's details returning. You'll also notice there's a bit of lumen noise comes in when we recover the details. Generally, it's not a bad looking lumen noise, but um, obviously you want to tune it so that it's about you so that you're recovering the details but you're not introducing too much noise now the quality of the uh, detail recovery is pretty good uh, and it's not too slow but if you want better uh, detail recovery and less noise recovered when you recover the details then click test patience and as the name implies that's much much slower um, but it does give better detail, better quality detail recovery and a little bit less noise uh, recovered. So you can see the details being recovered in that fabric there. Uh, if we look at the, uh, the knitted pattern on this glove here, you can see that the knitted pattern uh, is restored. Um, if we return off the recovered details, you can see most of the pattern disappears. So that's quite a good way of recovering uh, details in the image. Um, this image is particularly good because the uh, fabrics give a really strong uh, pattern that can easily be recovered. Um, if we look over here in the uh, camera lens, there's, there's some ridges that follow around the camera lens there and they're being recovered reasonably well. Uh, there's still a little bit of noise uh, in that uh, area, but you can see that the ridges are actually coming through. So that's the, the um, detail recovery. One other control that I skipped over was look up. Uh, so I'll just turn off the detail recovery. You can see that there's a little bit of noise coming through. Um, and we can get rid of that by by raising the lookup. The the lookup uh, determines the area around each pixel that is being uh, analysed for the noise reduction. And of course, the larger the area, the more data it has to to remove the noise. So at seven is about the minimum. If I turn that all the way down to three, you can see that there's still quite a bit of noise coming through. Let's go up to five. Uh, odd numbers, odd numbers are best um, for technical reasons. So there's still a bit of noise coming through. Um, the advantage of lower numbers is it's a lot faster because there's a lot less data for it to analyze. Now, of course, if we go all the way up to 15, it's a lot slower, but you'll notice that the noise reduction is much, much better. Uh, there was a little bit of noise coming through there and you, the chroma noise is completely gone as well. Um, and if we turn on the recover details, then we should be able to get back that the the uh, details that we lost with that over smoothing. Now, obviously, 
If you do go, turn up to look up, you're going to have to uh, readjust your um, the balance of the actual amount of noise reduction that you're doing to make sure that you're not actually over smoothing it. Um, you also need to kind of figure out whether uh, you want to rely on your detail recovery uh, for getting your details back which works well in some situations or you want to uh, just try and do your majority of your noise reduction without recovering the details um, and by adjusting the, the amount for each of these ranges. The, so the uh, noise reduction is pretty slow. You're probably going to have to make a cup of tea. Uh, so a 24 megapixel image uh, on my machine takes about three minutes. Of course, if you're using the faster settings, it's not um, as slow as that. Um, but just be warned that uh, it's not the quickest filter, but it is. it still does it as a, in a reasonable time. And I think the uh, quality of the results make it worth it. So that's it, and thanks very much.